did you know that Nikki Tutorials has a beauty brand? If you are new to my channel, my name is Ohima. Welcome. If you are a returning friend, hey! Did you know that Nikki Tutorials has a beauty brand? Like, if you didn't know, she does. I did review a few of her products when she first launched it. I noticed that she has a few more products out. So I went to her website and ordered a few things for us to try out. So this is gonna be our Nikki Tutorial brand Nemia review video. If you wanna see what's in here, keep on. I bought the eyeshadow palette and three of her brushes. I thought I had also picked up a few of her lip products, but I can't find it. I will check my invoice later. I'm a bit disappointed though, because I wanted to show you guys a few more of her products, but Nimia now has cheeky flush cream blushes. I have not seen anybody as deep as me actually use, swatch, and try the Nimia products. I feel like Nikki Tutorials is the only person I have seen using the Nimia products. So I figured, let me go ahead and get it. I follow Nikki Tutorial because she is a pigment girly much like myself so like anything she tries i want to try it if it's an eyeshadow palette if it's a, like she gets the drama and i'm here for it okay. this is the packaging on the blushes and when you open it it comes with it comes with like a tiny little egg i've seen her use this in her video it turns out it actually comes in her package and then of course below that is the pot of her blush so on the nimia website it says a light cream blush that blends and builds easily providing a vibrant color explosion with a skin like finish enriched with pomegranate oil for a touch of juicy care. Okay, this is what the pot looks like. It is actually really small enough for a small brush to be able to go in there. And I can't put my finger in there because of my nails. So I'm using my knuckles to go ahead and take it out to apply. This is the shade Hey Carl. This is the shade Picture Perfect Peach. Next, we have the shade Pink Ranger. And yes, Pink Ranger is a gorgeous pink shade. I'm really hoping that this will look good on my skin tone. Pink Ranger is definitely a lot deeper than I thought it was going to, to be. I don't know what it's going to look like once it's blended. I just want to blend these two out. These are, these are what the shades look like. They are showing up really nicely on my skin tone. A lot better than I was expecting because I've seen her swatch it and she's very pale. So so it does make sense that the shades look really pigmented on her skin tone. But I'm impressed to say that they also look really pigmented on my skin tone. The swatches that is. Now to see what they look like once they're blended in. I think that is, that is the catch, right? Some things swatch really nicely, but they don't blend out very well. Okay, so let's see. Let, let's, let's go ahead and see what they're going to look like once blended in. Okay, before we jump into that, I also picked up her eyeshadow palette. This is Nimia the palette. And it says that we live in a world full of labels but with this palette you get to create your own this collection of pressed pigments is your new favorite whether you want to go for basic baddie or a dramatic diva look okay this is what the palette looks like now let's see what it looks like on the inside the color story is very interesting to me so they're like four very good deep shades in here and then there are four light shades there are six shimmer shades and a nine matte shades there are no shades in here that pretend to be something that they're not these are four of the shimmer shades that come in the palette they are very reflective and i feel like if i'm going to use this i'm gonna put it on top of a color my base is on okay let's go in with our first blush this is the shade hey carl and we're going to use the cinch beauty f06 brush i'm just gonna dip directly into the pot i don't want to overdo it either so Okay. I want to apply the blush before I set my base. I'm using a slightly fluffy brush because fluffy brushes will blend your base in and make it look really, really nice. Okay, one thing I realized is that the first layer just blended really nicely into my concealer to where it almost looks like you can't tell where my concealer ends and where my blush begins. Let's see what the second layer will do. 
I'm blending the edges out because I think I took it a little too far. Let's go in with our third layer. Ooh, my face is gonna be so creamy. This blush, it's pigmented when you swatch it, but it's more on the natural side on my skin. And also remember that it's not like a red blush, so it's gonna look a little bit, it's going to look a little bit different, okay? I wanna try the Pink Ranger just to see what it looks like. I could definitely tell that Pink Ranger is pink and I can see that Hey Carl is orange like it's given to very distinct tinct tones. It's a little bit different from some of the blushes that I'm used to, that's for sure. I think this is more on the subtle side for me. Let's go ahead and set everything and then we'll talk some more. I'm gonna go over with Hey Carl a little bit, applying a little bit of a blush, of a powder blush over everything. And just like that, my base routine is done. Okay, let's go in with the Nimia palette. First, let's go ahead and prime, Hydro Grip Eye Primer. We're using the Jane Aradale Concealer. This is the shade 4 14 neutral. We're gonna go in with the orange shade and we're just gonna tap it into the base that we just put down. You have to pat it in that way the orange can act as a setting powder for your eyeshadow base, okay? And also if you notice I'm not putting the orange past where my eye rolls in. I'm just keeping it on my eyelids. I want it to be known that I did not use a white base for this look but still, it is shining through. This pigment is shining through. We're going in with this shade just to, you know, season the outer parts of this a little bit, just to add some dimension to the look. Like you don't need it, but it helps with the whole look, okay? And that shade I'm using is kind of like a khaki shade. It's really not brown. Of course, I'm taking that blue Nimia shimmer and putting it in my, because why not? Like, I feel like you probably already saw this coming. We have this NYX Sapphire Bling, and I'm, of course, I'm gonna put it in my waterline. We're going with our Half Magic Mascara, some lashes. So this is my finished look, trying a few products from Nimia by Nikki Tutorials. The eyeshadow palette is a really, nice palette. I am impressed by it. Color story is pretty. You could use it daytime, nighttime, work time. Now, as far as the blushes go, they're very cute when swatched on bare skin. But like with any and all other cream blushes that are that don't have like intense pigments in it. When I put it over my base, because my base is so deep, when I do that, it in, in turn goes ahead and just mixes in with my product and it dims the color. It could be very intense for someone who has pale skin or someone who's lighter than me. They could probably use this. Hopefully in the future, she will come up with a few more deeper, more pigmented blushes. Hey Carl was supposed to be that girl for the deep girls. It, it needs a little bit more work. It needs a little bit more pigment for it to be able to show up when mixed in with our complexion products. If you're lighter than me, you're definitely going to be able to use this. If you're pale, you will definitely be able to use. So that is it for me showing you a few products from Nimia by Nikki Tutorials. Let me know in the comments what you think. Have you tried these products? Do you like them? What do you think? Thank you so much for watching. Love you lots. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.